Today I'm going to explain just the very basics of understanding analytics. And the reason I'm only going to explain the very basics is because uh, this program or this data goes so far beyond um, what the average realtor needs to know, including myself. I don't look past this page very often. Um, if you look over on the left, you'll see where it says sources, all traffic, sometimes I'll look at that and sometimes I'll click on the content button. But it's very easy to get lost in looking at data, um, often known as analysis paralysis. So um, if you're going to consider using analytics or observing the analytics on your website, my recommendation is keep it basic. Don't spend hours getting lost uh, in all the data. The most important data on, the, on a website uh, is the traffic. Are you getting traffic? Is your traffic growing? You'll see here that this is Christmas Day. Uh, anybody that's ever come to my classes or uh, listened to anything that I've ever talked about with respect to search engine traffic, Christmas Day always seems to be absolutely the slowest day of the year. It's the bottom of the trough and then from there it goes up and what a lot of most people don't realize is that January is quite often one of the busiest search months for uh, homes. So search traffic is usually peaks in January. If it's not the highest month, it's definitely one of the highest months. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, visits. This is that's this just basically in a number, unique visitors, uh, page views. After this, after looking at the trend chart, the three most important things that I like to look at are pages per visit. You'll see here that um, we have an average of 2.36 pages per visit. That's because most of our visit pages are uh, in an iframe. And um, so somebody can look at homes and say a town like Cedar Park or Round Rock or Pflugerville, they can look at homes on one page. They can look at 10 homes. They don't need to look at 10 different pages. So depending on whether or not your IDX is uh, framed in your website or whether you have an indexable IDX is going to affect that number. The average duration on our site is uh, 2 minutes and 39 seconds. Now, we see this change throughout the day. If I look at our analytics in the morning, people have less time, they're in a hurry, they're just looking to see what came on the market. Uh, that's usually a lot smaller and it'll usually go up as the evening comes along. Uh, the bounce rate is an important number um, because that tells you how quick or how often people look at one page on your site and, then and basically bounce right back out. It's not going to be uncommon when you have an indexable IDX. So we have two types of IDXs on our website. We have the embedded and the indexable. And quite often what we'll see is a home will go on the market. Uh, the neighbors will want to know what the home's going for. They go type in the address. They come to our website. They look at the price. They look at the pictures. And then they leave right away. And that's a bounce. And that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're looking at your average duration of the people who do come is uh, 2 minutes and 39 seconds and the average pages per visit is um, 2.36. The other number I like to look at is this number, returning visitor. What's the percentage of returning visitors? If no one ever comes back to your site, if you think about people looking for homes, people... I think use on average three websites. I hear it all the time. Um, you know, I hear our competitors, I hear realtor.com, I hear everybody. And uh, people don't necessarily use the site that their realtor offers. That's okay, right? As long as they use you to buy the home. That's what, what how, we, how we see it. But what is important to understand though is are people happy? Are they, are they coming back? Because if they don't come back, then you know that there's probably something wrong with your site. Maybe they don't trust it. Maybe they don't, they don't feel like it's a real source of information. Um, we'll see our returning visitor rate has actually started growing. Uh, this includes some of the numbers from December where people weren't really coming back so much. We're noticing now that the return visitor rate uh, is getting into the low 40s over the last week. And so we're comfortable with that number. Now, um, this is a site that uh, 
Sky manages. We try to put analytics in all of our websites because it doesn't matter how many visitors necessarily that you get. What's important is the, is the quality of their experience. And these numbers will kind of help reflect um, how they feel about your website. So remember, it's not the volume, it's the quality. I talk to agents and they and quite often say, well, I don't care if I only get two visitors a day. If I get one buyer a day or if I get one lead a day, that's good. So um, we want to really focus on the returning visitor. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in the comment box below. I will gladly answer them. Also, subscribe to our channel and rate this video. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks and have a great day.